We are going right into a leg and glute workout that I'm obsessed with. I've repeated this workout a few times already since I made it up and I am in love with it. And I hope you love it just as much as I do. Again, I will do modifications or suggestions throughout the whole entire video if um, something is maybe too difficult or uh, alternatives for equipment maybe. Um, I'll do my best with that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this awesome possum. I just said awesome possum. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys at the gym. All right, you guys, after you have done a warm up that gets your muscles all warm, we are going to start on the leg press machine doing a circuit. It's a burnout circuit, so be prepared for your legs to be burning. In the beginning there, I was doing diaphragmatic breathing. So I'm making sure I am activating my core by pulling my transverse in and my pelvic floor up towards my belly button each rep. So I am inhaling now, exhaling on the push, and that is really important if you're pregnant um, to maintain that core intact um, to help protect that um, linea alba so you don't get diastis recti. So you're going to do 12 reps wide, 12 reps normal stance. Again, paying attention to your breathing, paying attention to each exhale as you push, wrapping that transverse abdominis into your midline. And even if you aren't pregnant, learning to activate your core properly during workouts is key to a healthy core. Then you're gonna do 12 curtsy pulses as well, making sure your heels are together and your feet turned out about a 45 degree angle, going as far down as you can. I was doing what was comfortable for me and my belly, um, especially when my legs are together here where I do tw uh, 12 pulses. So I kind of felt a little pressure on my bump. So if you have a little bit bigger bump, you can feel free to widen your feet as needed to make sure you are comfortable. Again, I am not going super heavy. I'm just going on a certain weight to make sure that I feel tension. Then you're gonna do six reps single leg on each leg. To make this more difficult, you can add a resistance band around the whole entire machine or increase the weight. This is a burnout set, so we are going to um, push ourselves. We all we want to make sure that our form is correct. If you find yourself having improper form, lighten up the weight or take your time a little bit more in between each reps so you don't rush through and cause injury. From here, we are going to go right into step ups with a resistance band wrapped around the bench. You are going to do six reps on each leg. As you noticed in the beginning, I hit a deep breath. Each time I go to step up, I am exhaling and again focusing on wrapping my transverse to the midline of my body. And as I step down, I'm inhaling. Again, this is super important to protecting that core. We don't want any intra-abdominal pressure, and that's what actually causes the diastasis recti most often is intra-abdominal pressure pushing against that linea. You are gonna repeat this superset four times. If that is too much for a pregnant mama, you can always repeat it two to three times or however much you are comfortable with. Then we are gonna go into hip thrusts. Yes, you can do hip thrusts when you are pregnant. Just make sure you're placing the weight on your thighs. Adding the resistance band also helps engage the glutes. So you are going to do 25 reps doing the hip thrust. If you can handle more weight, do more weight. If you aren't pregnant, you obviously can place a bar around your hips. Um, with however much weight is comfortable for you. I'm using a 25 pound plate here, and it was actually a good burn for me combined with the resistance span. Again, each time I'm breathing on the exhale, I'm pulling my transverse abdominis together as I'm pressing my hips up, and that actually engages your glutes far more, surprisingly. Um, it's crazy how the system works with your pelvic floor and core to engage your glutes. Then you're going to do 25 abduction pulses, keeping your hips placed up, working on that breathing. If you saw just there, you saw my belly rise. That was my inhale, and on my exhale, I was pressing down and in. That is really hard to do, um, but this is also great core work for those pregnant mamas, and this is considered, quotation mark, ab work um, that you need to be doing during your um, pregnancy. At the very end there, you also want to hold it for as long as you can. Then we're going to go into ladder curtsy lunge squats. So you're going to go one rep each leg, and then you're going to go two reps. You're going to go all the way to four. So now we're on two reps, squat, two reps, and then your squat, and then you'll go to three reps. Make sure your knees are in alignment with your second and third toe, making sure you're having enough stance between your legs where you can balance, and you're really engaging that glute on that back leg and front leg. Um, the weight should be following directly down your shins. 
and your chest should be upright. And again, don't forget about your breathing and don't forget about engaging that core the entire set. Super important. This set burns substantially, so make sure you are taking your time and making sure your knee is tracking over your ankle or your second and third toe. We do not want it caving in. We want to prevent injury on those MCLs. So you are going to repeat that superset, you guys, three times. Just a few tips on the hip thrust. If you turn your feet out at a 45 degree angle, you'll find that you don't need to go as heavy to isolate and engage your glutes. Also, make sure you are placing constant tension against that resistance band, pressing outwards with your knees, and I promise you, your glutes will be on fire. I think there's a misconception that you have to lift super heavy to engage those glutes on hip thrust, and oftentimes when I see people lifting really heavy, they are isolating their glutes. They're using their whole entire body to lift their weight, which is beneficial, but it's not going to be as beneficial as if you lowered the weight a tad. Again, make sure you are activating that transverse. Your transverse is the corset to your body, you guys. It's what helps keep your system functional, and it's really important to make sure that that system is working properly so that not only can your legs and your arms get stronger because your limbs attach to your core. So super, super important to work. We are now going to go into cable front squats. On these, make sure you're inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up, pressing through your heels, lifting that pelvic floor to your belly, and wrapping that transverse to the midline of your body. I know I've repeated that so many times during this video, but I just want to reiterate how important it is, especially if you're a pregnant mama. You guys are going to do 12 front squats. Then we are going to go into curtsy pushdowns and glute pushdowns on, on the assisted pull-up machine. If you notice, my heel is on the edge of the bench. This is going to help engage your glutes further. I'm also not standing on the machine and pushing downwards. I find that that doesn't quite engage your glutes because you're using your body weight to push down. Whereas when you're below the machine, you're actually having to use your legs to let the machine rise and push down. It's just a personal preference. I find I can engage my glutes for more when I'm on the ground versus when I'm on the step. Make sure you're going regular and then you're going to do the curtsy side. Again, using your glutes to push down. Try not to use your quads or any other muscle. You really want to feel your glutes engaged and have that mind muscle body connection. That is really big in developing any muscular structure is in using the right muscles when you're lifting instead of just going through the motions. You're going to do 10 reps on curtsy style and glute style. You're going to repeat this superset three times. Again, if you need to lower the weight to feel the engagement, go ahead and do that. We are on the home stretch. We are going to do glute kickbacks lying down. You are going to make sure that you are pulling your knees to your chest and using your glutes to pull back. I'm going in kind of a circular motion, which you can't see from this angle, but you should be able to see a little bit better on the other leg. You're going to do 10 reps of this, making sure you're holding at the very end and pausing at the back. Then you're going to go up on your side, which this not only engages the glute you're pulling back with on the cable, but you're also engaging the glute that you're using to stabilize your hips. The burn was really good. I really enjoyed this exercise. I will go ahead and also attach the foot links that I'm using that the cable is attached to and in the description box below. Again, if you can see here, I'm kind of going in a circular motion with my leg. I'm kicking out as far out as I can and pausing as I reach full extension. Your abductors and your glute, part of their role is extensions. So make sure you are really focusing on extending that leg as far back and squeezing that glute at the end. Again, keeping that hip up during this set is also going to engage that glute, my left glute, a lot more. That angle was not the most flattering, so I apologize, you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this workout, and I will see you next time.